You remember that really good pirate game that came out years ago where you could go on swashbuckling adventures, find treasure, rob ships, buy and customise your own ship, dock in Nassau, buy a plot of land and build a compound for you and your pirate buddies? Yeah, me neither. When Assassin's Creed Black Flag was released, we were all excited to experience the ship combat ship combat, not shit, that we were introduced to in Assassin's Creed 3, just on a much larger scale. It was near genius of them to realise that the most popular aspect of Assassin's Creed 3 could be turned into a fully fledged game of its own. They may have been making Black Flag before 3 was released, but it was still a good idea nonetheless. Hello everyone, I am Red Big Raven, and welcome to, I guess, a pirate video game discussion video where I will obviously be talking about pirate games in general, but the main focus is about Ubisoft taking Black Flag stripping the Assassin's Creed element from it and making the pirate action adventure RPG game we've always wanted, or at least what I've always wanted. So over the years there have been a fair few pirate games, but nothing has ever come close to what gamers such as myself really want from such a game. Basically, they're like zombie films, hardly anyone can ever do them right, I'm amazed the Resident Evil films are still going, never mind the video games. So if you go on Google and type in pirate games, you can easily find which ones are the most popular. So Black Flag appears to be the most popular one, and it's not technically technically a pirate game, it's an Assassin's Creed game where you play as a pirate and then become an assassin, eventually, like right at the end at the point where I didn't give a crap about the assassins. Black Flag was an excellent game and if GTA 5 had not released the same year, it probably would have been my game of that year. I always stick by what I said to my friends when they asked me how good it was. I said that Black Flag is a really good game, but it's not a good Assassin's Creed game. The problem I had with it was that its pirate-esque gameplay completely overshadowed the Assassin's Creed aspects. Black Flag is a great concept that would have probably been better had it scrapped Assassin's Creed and just become a standalone pirate game. And I hope that Ubisoft see the potential here and feel the same way about it. And I hope that's what they are doing right now. Obviously, I'm not the only one saying this, you just type in on Google, Assassin's Creed Black Flag Pirate Game. There are tons of articles and discussions about how the game would have been better without the Assassins. And even when Black Flag isn't the topic of conversation, you can still find it being mentioned by people who recommend it as the game that offers the best pirate experience, or at least the most satisfying one. So come on Ubisoft, why haven't you acted on this? It's been three years for Christ's sake. You apparently even did a survey for it, although they supposedly did the same type of survey back in 2011, asking people where they would like the series to go, but none of the suggestions were actually used, which says to me either the suggestions were rubbish, they didn't like them, or they just asked for the sake of looking interested in feedback. Whatever the reason, a standalone pirate game could be in the works as part of their plan to re-evaluate the Assassin's Creed series. By that I mean another team go work on the pirate game while Ubisoft Montreal continue with the Assassin's Creed series, or vice versa. I don't know, I suppose it it depends on what the devs would rather work on and what they'd be allowed to work on. So as I basically said, there isn't really that many decent pirate games. Now there are a lot of top 5, top 10 lists that show you some of the better ones, but even those don't fill the empty gap in my video game library. The most popular suggestion aside from Black Flag is Sid Meier's Pirates, a game that released in 1997 and has had just about as many re-releases as Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, I don't know why that's funny. It's just so many. Anyways, so Sid Meier's Pirates is still considered a top-notch pirate game, especially since it's been around for almost three decades. So it has to be doing something right, but I fear that the game is starting to not age well. The version you can find on Steam is the enhanced version, and I think you can also find the older one as well, but I did buy the enhanced version last year, and I remember spending just over an hour on it, and to be honest, I wasn't that entertained by it. It does have a lot going for it. At the start of the game, your family gets kidnapped, and it's up to you to rescue them, but here's where it gets interesting. The longer you play, the older your character becomes, and your chances of rescuing your family get lower and lower as time goes by. I'm not really a fan of games that present you with a time frame to do what you want to do, but that particular concept is seen less often nowadays, so it's not something I think or worry about. The majority of the game is spent sailing your ship around the Caribbean in an RTS over the top style view, and that is also something that put me off, and not because I don't like that style of gameplay, but because there's already a bunch of games that look about the same, and I've played my fair share. Just to mention a few, there's Windward, Pirates of Black Cove, Tempest, which is actually a bit different, and Broadside. Now the obvious difference between those and Sid Meier's Pirates is 1. They don't have a bunch of re-releases, and 2. They are more ship combat focused. So what is it with pirate games being designed like this? You could say it's because the devs don't have the budget or people to make a game even similar to Black Flag, or you could say that not many developers are interested in making an open world 
pirate game. I mean, if a AAA studio like Ubisoft needs a reason other than the dev teams wanting to do it, then just look at the large amount of gamers that are crying out for a big budget pirate game. I am telling you, Black Flag without the assassins, more customization, the ability to buy ships and island mansions, pirate outfits, an in-depth recruitment system, a game like that would make a fortune if it was good. Would probably still make a nice profit even if it wasn't that good. I can see why Sid Meier's Pirates is still a classic, but personally, it didn't do anything for me. Risen 2 Dark Waters is also a recommended pirate game, although it's not necessarily what we're looking for. Risen 2 may look like a pirate game, but it seems more like a heavy, fantasy orientated world. Not that I would mind a bit of voodoo or a kraken or two in a pirate game, it's just Risen 2 has all these different monsters and magic. Now don't take my word for it, I've never played Risen 2 or any of the Risen games for that matter, so I can't say whether or not this is a decent pirate game or a good game overall. I've heard it can be a really frustrating RPG, but if any of you guys watching have played it, then maybe you could help me fill in the blanks in the comments below. Then you've got things like the Monkey Island series, Pirates Legend of Black Cat, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean I suppose, and even the video game adaptations of the Pirates of the Caribbean films, which were, well, they were not exactly, um... Yeah. To be fair to the Pirates of the Caribbean series, they did make a decent MMO that I actually played quite a bit of back when it first came out. Unfortunately, the game was shut down in late 2013, which should make us all aware about the day when our favourite MMOs or online only games also get shut down, because it will happen, and chances are you won't be able to play those games ever again. That's why I don't like it when games are online only, because it limits the time we have with them. But back on the subject of this video, so you've got all these different pirate games, but barely any of them come close to the experience that many of us would like to see. So despite the fact that there are a few pirate games to list, the number is nowhere near the number of other types of games, such as World War II games, futuristic sci-fi games, there's probably more Star Wars games than there are pirate ones, or at least good pirate games. Although let's be honest, how many people nowadays would actually suggest an open world pirate game? Chances are they'd say a GTA style game where we can go from one city to another, or a space exploration game where we can actually get in a spaceship and literally fly from one planet to another. Ha ha ha, that wish worked out well. Point is, whenever I've seen this type of conversation on forums and in comment sections, I don't often see many people voting for a pirate game, which might be the reason why hardly anyone ever touches the idea. But social media aside, pirates or piracy is actually a large part of our history and it amazes me how many big games are based on real life events in our history, apart from the events in the Caribbean, or even piracy before that era. The idea of a pirate Pirate has been around for a very long time, all the way back to ancient Greece in fact. Now obviously the most common pirate stereotype is a bearded man with a peg leg and an eye patch, more so when you're a kid. I am of course talking about pirates that were active during 1650 and 1720. The Pirates of the Caribbean essentially. It's such a classic era of piracy that we often associate pirates with. There's just a lot of interest in history there and I feel it isn't explored as much as I'd like it to be. I mean it's one of the least covered parts of our history in video games and probably in other the media like TV and film, at least compared to the likes of sci-fi, 21st century events, superheroes and World War 2, which isn't really done that often anymore. So far, the only game I've seen capitalise on that specific period in our history is Black Flag, which is obvious because the Assassin's Creed series does revolve around actual historic events and people. I'm not saying that I wouldn't like my ideal pirate game to have its own characters, it would just be a lot better and smarter to include those who actually were pirates. Alright, so let's talk about the idea of Black Flag with out the assassins. First of all, we'd have to get rid of the annoying assassin's outfit and that bloody blowpipe hanging on our backs. Talk about ruining the immersion. Here I am trying to be a pirate and I'm walking around with a hood on. Then we'd have to sort out the ship customization. I'd want to choose from a selection of ships. Start out small maybe and then keep buying bigger and better ships. I want to be able to explore every nook and cranny of my ship. I want to customise the sails, the black flag itself, the ship name, my crew, the interior decoration, everything from the crow's nest to the rope that keeps the sails up. I'm a pirate ship captain, I want to be able to do what that entitles me to. The ship combat in Assassin's Creed Black Flag was perfect in my opinion. Sure you could improve it, but I wouldn't be too bothered. Maybe have it so I can board a ship when I get close to it rather than having to bombard it with cannons first. You could even have more realistic scenarios where you get close to a ship, raise the black flag, then they instantly surrender. That's when you know you've achieved pirate stardom. And on that note, here's a little piece of trivia for you. One of the biggest myths about pirates is that their ships always had 
a black flag with a skull and crossbones on it. In reality, the flag designs varied from ship to ship, and seeing a black flag being raised was a sign that the pirates were willing to give quarter. Okay, so I'm going to stop myself there because this has turned into a bit of a wish list. The bottom line is, Ubisoft has set the foundations for the creation of a great pirate game, and if they don't seize the bloody opportunity while it's there, someone else will, or possibly no one will. Yes, other pirate games will come and go, but they may be similar to what we already have. If you were to ask me why developers just can't nail pirate themed video games on the head, then first of all I'd say that depends on who you ask. If you are a fan of the current types of games that we are getting that have a pirate theme, then you'd probably say they don't do anything wrong that they just design them differently and they mostly appeal to a much smaller audience of gamers. However, if you aren't a fan of things like Windward or Tempest, then you might say that they focus too much on ship combat and forget about the landmass part altogether. My answer would simply be that from where I'm standing, it looks like most pirate games out there are made by either indie devs or very small developer teams. Therefore, it's difficult for them to create a pirate game that's on the same level as Black Flag. And also because AAA studios like the security of their franchises. Despite the fact that some big developers do branch out and try new things, they don't or can't do it on the same level as indie devs can. Total freedom is what indie devs value the most, and I think that's what developers would need to create a great pirate themed video game. I think at this time our best bet is a standalone pirate game from Ubisoft or someone like an indie studio taking a concept to Kickstarter and letting us gamers decide on how much we want such a game. All I can say is, judging from the reasons behind the success of Black Flag, a game like that without the assassins would make money, and someone has to claim that pot of gold at the end of the pirate rainbow. There's a huge gap in the industry for an open world pirate game or pirate games in general, and I know some of you might have been shouting at your screens throughout this video, what about Sea of Thieves and Black Wake? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, both of them do not look appealing to me. They are both multiplayer focused games and I rarely buy a game where either its main component is multiplayer or it's online only. And with that being said, the long wait for my ideal pirate themed video game continues. All I can do is settle for Black Flag every now and then when I feel like playing as a pirate, but now that is all I have for this discussion. Now let me know what you are all thinking about this, I am really interested in seeing what people say about pirate games nowadays. Are you hoping for Ubisoft to create a standalone pirate game? What would be your ideal one? And do you think there's even a future for them? Let me know in the comments below, I definitely like to read through them and get your opinions. So click the like button if you like this video, you can also follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll find the links near the bottom of the description. Anyways, that's all from me, so until next time, I'll see you soon.